Mr. Speaker, sir, reply to state question 82. Sir, the matter is under process. Bakar Prem, please. Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, may I know from the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister in charge of whom, why is the process of establishing the fire service being delayed? Uh, sir, uh, sir, there are so many reasons, in fact, which leading to, I should say, maybe undue delay. Uh, number one, the reason is because of the land acquisition process. It takes a lot of time. And of course, now I'm happy to inform the honorable member that the land acquisition process is almost completed. Now we are in the stage of uh, uh, notification 19, uh, 19, uh, 19 one. Section 19.1, and thereafter, maybe after maximum, maybe after two or three months, the land can be taken over by the uh, by the government for uh, necessary uh, infrastructure creation over there. Sir, so, <coughs> has the government paid the required land compensation money to the concerned landowners? Sir, so, I've already replied. Uh, we are in the final stage of publication. So once the, uh, once the final stage of publication is completed, then only the district collector will release the necessary amount to the concerned landowner. So let me know from the Honorable Chief Minister, the total cost of the land. Sir, the total cost is 51,84,719. Mr. Saling Samar. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, sir, whenever we acquire land from our tribal people or try to compensate with uh, any amount, but there used to be some kind of an agreement to give some kind of a job to the owner of the land, always. But at the end, when they get a uh, anything is done by the government, they forget the owner of the land. So is there any kind of an agreement to give a job or some kind of, a, not only the compensation, other kind of agreement with the owner of the land? Uh, sir, there is no such agreement, sir. As far as land acquisition is concerned, we are being guided by the, by the Act. And uh, once the land acquisition proceeding is completed, then subjected to certain uh, stages where the, even the landowner has to be happy. If, the, if he's agreeable, then we will proceed further for the final, uh, you know, for the final uh, uh, publication. But in case if they are not willing due to maybe to the underestimated value or this, that, then that is a different issue. But uh, I think I would like to inform the honorable member. In fact, if you talk about if we talk about donation of land, if we talk about donation of land, in case one particular landowner donated land free of cost to the uh, government, to any department in the government, yes, there is a standing order where ultimately some kind of agreement be entered upon between the government and the, uh, and the landowners. Mr. Speaker, sir, why I'm bringing this particular question is that uh, there was one agreement uh, though compensation was given to that medical college in Tura but there was some kind of an understanding with the Nokmas to give some job uh, to the you know owner of those land that's why I'm asking whether is there some kind of an understanding whether even if there is no such agreement some kind of an understanding through DC or maybe some other you know uh, some other line uh, that's what I wanted to know. Uh, sir, I think I'm not aware about it. But as far as land acquisition pro process is, is, is done, as I said, there is no such agreement because land acquisition, as I said, as I've already stated, land acquisition can only happen if the landowner or the Nokma or whoever concerned, they are agreeable to the assessed value done by the district collector, then only the land acquisition process will, 
will 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 reach to the conclusion. Sir, sir. <coughs> Captain, I think you have to you have one more. Yes, okay. Have, let me let him finish his supplementary okay. question. Sir, so, uh, has the government put a specific timeline uh, to complete the project? Said it is uh, our duty, sir. Uh, sir, I have already replied again. Once the land is handed over by the district collector to uh, police department, then the process of creation of infrastructure will take place. But right now, since we don't have the the land in possession, so still we can't. I can't see anything on that. Sir. Okay. Yes, Pastor. Area that we require for the. Uh, you know, putting up this particular uh, fire station, total number, what is the requirement? Because we end up taking more. How much land required? How much land required, How much land requirement, sir? Uh, uh, sir, In the land, the land for the for the uh, for the uh, acquisition, uh, which was already in process, is uh, uh, is. Uh, Issuing 2,357.34 square meters, 2,357.34 square, square meters. Yes, pardon me. Sir, since uh, our Honorable Deputy Chief Minister has replied about the land, has stated about the land acquisition, may I uh, know from the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, sir, whether this land acquisition is available for state work as well or only for the central sponsored uh, scheme? Uh, sir, in fact, it is available for both. Well, I think the intention of the honorable member from Maokruwat asking this question may be for construction of road. Yes. As far as construction yes, of road is concerned, done by the state fund, we have decided long time back we said if the community or the landowners are willing to part land free of cost and if the landowners are ready to, uh, to enter an agreement in the form of gift deed, then only estimate and sanction will be, will be given. Uh, Sir, may I know from the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister whether the de Department of Fire Services has any intention of setting up the fire tenders in different locations of the city? Because just to give you an example, sir, there were two fires recently in my constituency. And by the time the fire tenders from Fire Brigade reached Rinja, there was nothing left of the houses that had uh, 